Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Coastal Living. Now, if you watch the show regularly, you know I'm pretty big on managing the amount of time that my son spends on his smart tablet. Now, many of you may feel the same, but there are also a lot of resources to help restrict and control the things that your kids are exposed to online. Jocelyn's going to take a deeper look. The very first thing you want to do is go to your settings app, and if you scroll down, there's an option called screen time. All the controls are set in screen time, so select that and scroll down, and these options are if you would like to set up parental control. The very first one is called downtime. Schedule time away from the screen. Click this because you want to turn this on. This lets you schedule time for your kids to be away from the screen. Only apps that you choose will be allowed during this time. So if you turn this on, you can schedule this to be the exact same time every day. Let's go back to the first screen and check out the always allowed. This is where we will set up all the apps that will always be allowed during downtimes. So right now, only the phone, messaging, FaceTime, and Maps app will be allowed to be on during downtime. You can add apps by scrolling down and pressing the plus sign. You can also change what contacts are available during downtime as well. All right, now let's check out app limits. Now click add limits and you can either choose an app or an entire category of apps. That way we can limit all social media apps that we click on. We can then make it to where only one hour of social media time is allowed per day. Let's go back. You can also set communication limits. And it's the same kind of thing where you can set it up during downtime or any time during screen time. But remember, you want to set a screen time passcode because if you don't, then anyone can come onto this page and turn off everything you just set. It's just that easy to set up parental control on your iPhone or iPad.